Esther with Siemens, uh, account manager here in Orlando, Florida. Just going to quickly show you how to connect to our V V20 drive. So this drive is our V20. It's our um, entry level drive for pumps and fans. Uh, very price competitive. We have a new module here that is a wireless Ethernet module, and I'm going to show you the quick way to connect to this module through either an iPad or your iPhone. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that the module is on and that you have the light on the front of it here. The next thing you're going to do is go to your settings. You're going to turn on your Wi-Fi. Once your Wi-Fi comes up, it's going to search. It's going to see the V20 Smart Access. Um, so just to show you, um, it'll come up V20 Smart Access. You're going to want to select that. Currently, the password for this one is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's going to give you the choice to join. Takes just a second. It'll pick it up. Once you're connected, you can exit out of here. You can go to Safari or just uh, the internet. Uh, I guess we probably should have exited out. The address you're going to want to type in, the window is 192.168.1.1. It'll connect, and once it connects, it will, it will bring you up to this um, menu. Uh, for the V20 that allows you to do these various operations. One of the operations that you can do is jog. When you go to do the jog, you're going to want to get control. It's going to bring you up this little warning that says, you know, make sure nobody's around it and everything's safe. You want to say okay. Uh, once you have control, then you can select jog and then you can by holding down one of the buttons you can turn the motor by jogging it either clockwise or counterclockwise by holding these buttons down if you want to turn it on and run it you can put it in hand and now you have control of the drive based on the speed control here where you just slide this bar over and the motor after you turn on the on button, the motor will take off and run, and you can control the speed based off of the slide bar. And then you can turn the drive off. And then lastly, you want to free control. When you free control, that gives the control back to the drive. 